Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a basic NPC dialogue system in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. So to show you what this looks like, we're just going to go into the game, start game. And there's my NPC over there. I go interact. Manny, do you want an apple or banana? Oops. Apple. There's an apple. Come over here, E. Do you want a banana? Banana. And that's it. It's real simple. And this only takes maybe five to 10 minutes to do. So I'll start from scratch and I'll show you how we do this. Okay, to get started with this, we're just going to go into island templates. We'll just do the blank template and I'll just leave it called My Project E and go create. There's just a few things we need to do for this. It's really the pop-up device that makes this happen. Now there's two spawners in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the other one because we only need one. And I'll just come right over here. I'll select this and I'll turn the character toward here because this is where things will be. Okay, so we need a NPC to get started on this. So we're just gonna go into device, device, and we're gonna get our character device right here. And we'll just leave it in the default mannequin. We can switch that out. I just did a tutorial on how you can switch the skins on this. And we really don't have any settings on here for this particular character, except we can have them be in an idle animation, just waiting. Okay, and that's really all we need. And then we're gonna need the main star of the show is the pop-up dialogue. This thing is incredible because it allows us to create dialogue systems, do multiple choice questions, all kinds of interactions, very simply and easy. This would take about 45 minutes to make something like that in Unreal Engine, maybe even longer. Okay, and it's already built for us. And then because we're gonna have a little interaction here, we're gonna get two item spawners here. Let's see, where is that item spawner? Right here. And we'll set these off to the side. And once we have these items set up, all we have to do is just to configure a couple settings and we're good to go. We're gonna start with this, the pop-up dialog device. It's really incredible. We're gonna just kind of walk through some of these settings right here. The title of this is gonna, since it's gonna be this character talking, we can make the title the character's name. So if I come up here, whoops, I got off the box there. If I come up here where it says title, I'll just put the character's name in there and we'll just call him Manny. And the description can be the question. And I'm just gonna ask, do you want an apple or banana? Oh, banana. And like I said, one of the great things about creating games in here versus Unreal Engine is that you can create them so much faster and just get on with creating a game. Okay, the response we want, we can have here, we can have three buttons. And this is really the coolest thing ever because this use dialogue timeout, what that means is that the when the you press interact with the player, what's gonna happen is the pop-up screen is gonna take over the display. But then rather than hiding it, it will automatically time out. So here you just set how long you want it to be on the screen. So maybe people are pretty impatient, but you give them five seconds to make their decision on what they wanna do. And then the screen just goes away. So we don't have to do any additional thing. This is really great they included that. And then here, the default back button, we can have it be button three. And then we have our, our text for our three buttons. So the first one can say apple. The next one can say banana. And the last one can just say back because it's like our back button. It doesn't really go back to anywhere, but it escapes essentially. Here is the main controls right here. Okay. so. We want this dialog box to be hidden initially. So we can click here and that can we can go to the player spawner, which you can think of it as on begin event play. And on player spawn, basically when the game starts, we want this to be hidden. And then we want to show it when the, the player interacts with the character device. So we just switch that to on interacted with and then that's all we have to do there, right? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's all the settings that we need for that. Done, just like that, okay? 
Now we have two items we want to spawn. Let's see, this is item spawner one. So we want this. If we look at its settings here, we don't want it to do anything on a timer. And we're going to want it to deliver an apple. So we're going to set an item here and we're going to search for apple. It could be whatever you want. I'm just choosing apple for right now. And we scroll down a little bit further and it should be one here on item spawn, spawn item. So we're going to spawn this if we go to our pop up dialog device on responding button number one. So when the player presses Apple on the pop-up device, this will pop up. And then there's another setting here about show base, I think. I can't find that. Let me just search for it here. Base. Base visible. No, we don't need to see the base. So then that, that's that one. So now we go on this one and do the same settings. So we don't want that base to be visible either. Clear out our search bar. And now again, we'll just turn off the timer. Pick an item from the list, which is, in this case, it's going to be a banana. So we'll search for the banana here. Should be here somewhere, just right there. And we want this to spawn when the pop-up device is button number two. Right there. And believe it or not, I think that's all the settings that we need. So let's go ahead and save that. And I'm not timing this. Let's see how long has this been? Six minutes. Okay. If you were trying to do this on Unreal Engine, it would have taken you a good half hour to create all this functionality. Maybe even more. I would say an hour probably. So anyway, let's go ahead and launch the session and then I'll be back as soon as it's launched. Okay, we're back. Now I'm just gonna go hit escape and start the game and see if this works. So here we are, we come in, there's our mannequin, we walk over. And how come I don't see anything? Oh, I didn't set this interact type. That was my mistake. So hit save and let's go ahead and try this again. It's always kind of embarrassing that that happens. I'm just gonna start it from scratch. Okay, it should interact now. Start game. That seems a little glitchy to this morning. Okay, here we go. There, interact. Do you want an apple or a banana? Apple comes in. Come over here, E, banana. And there you go. So I guess it's important to remember that one setting here, if I come back here, is don't forget and when you're on your character, I forgot that setting here of interact type. I didn't have it send event only. If it's on no interact, obviously it's not gonna do anything. So that was my oversight there. But other than that, everything else still works. So that's all I have for today. So I hope you found this helpful. Take care and I'll talk to you next time.